Hi, this is Dr. Desmond Wai from Desmond Wai Liver and Gastro Clinic. Today I want to talk about alpha protein again. Um, that's because I just had a patient this morning that came in with elevated alpha protein. So okay, that will be part three. So alpha protein is a tumor marker. That means it can be secreted by certain tumor, usually germ cell tumor and liver cancer. But they can be also be secreted in some benign conditions. There are people that have a high AFP for no reason, and pregnant women can have a high alpha protein because they are pregnant. So for that matter, we don't normally check alpha protein in pregnant women. It can also be elevated in people having active liver damage, like active hepatitis B or C, that you know liver damage lead to cell death and cell regeneration, and AFP can be elevated when the liver cells regenerate. So the, put it this way, uh, liver cancer patients uh, normally had, I think more than half of them have a high AFP, but the high AFP doesn't equate to a liver cancer. In fact, uh, I told my patients, if you have no risk factor for liver cancer, you have no liver problem, you have no other symptom, you are unlikely to have liver cancer. So let me share with me this patient. This patient of mine is an educated lady. Uh, she came this morning because uh, her alpha protein uh, was elevated. What happened is that uh, she went for a multiphasic health screening. She see a family doctor and do a health screening. So I asked her, why do you do a health screening? Uh, or which part of you, which part of your body is unwell? And she replied that, well, actually everything goes well. But the company kindly gave us uh, some budget to do a health screening. Uh, they do it once every two years. It's some form of a, uh, a staff benefit. So she went for this health screening that checked for the cholesterol, diabetes, etc., etc. So this time she added alpha feta protein as part of it. So her alpha feta protein level is at 7.4. In the lab that she did, the normal reference range of AFP was 0 to 7.1. So 7.4 was elevated. So she was understandably very, very worried. So she's talked with her family doctor. The family doctor told her, well, we better see a specialist, even though, you know, probably nothing serious. So she came. So she was very nervous. She's an educated person, Singaporean. She's a female. So the, uh, being educated, Singaporean, she did a lot of Google search. You type the word alpha feta protein, tumor marker, and many things came out. And she was very worried that, you know, she got some form of cancer. So she came. I talked to her. I noticed that she fit the characteristic of somebody with no cancer. Number one, she already seeing a gynecologist for, uh, I think, biannually bi follow up. So I don't have to worry about ovarian cancer because she's seeing a gyne. She had a chest x done as part of the uh, part of the health screening. Some patient with a metastinal tumor, like metastinal germ cell tumor in the middle of the chest here, that they will have a high alpha protein. She's not. Number three is a uh, she had normal liver function, she had no uh, alcoholic history, her liver looks fine on the blood test, so she probably doesn't have liver cirrhosis. So with that, uh, with no risk factor liver injury, uh, uh, with an AFP of between uh, less than, being less than 15.0, I think I told her that most likely you don't have a liver cancer. I told her that it is perfectly fine to just repeat the alpha beta protein the cancer marker four or five months later. If she does have liver cancer, I expect the AFP to double every four to five months. Uh, so I told her we can actually see you one more time in four, three, four months time. If it increase further, then we can act like doing a scan. But she was so nervous. She was so, she was so nervous and so anxious because she read too much and being smart, smart people sometimes think about all the worst case scenario. So I told her that, well, uh, I think I would do an ultrasound scan for you. I expect it to be normal, not to worry. Uh, ultrasound is very safe, it's not expensive. Uh, uh, the risk of ultrasound is very minimum. So I told her that, well, let's do a scan, yeah. So, but I know the scan is probably going to be normal, but yet we still want them to do a scan to get a reassurance, okay? So I then show her this website. You can just type AFP Mayo Clinic. Mayo Clinic, as you know, is one of the best uh, medical centers in the world. It's, it is uh, in US in the uh, 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 northwest, no, it's in the Midwest region. So the in the Mayo Clinic website, they actually say that uh, Mayo Clinic, at least Mayo Clinic, does not recommend doing AFP testing for the general public. And Mayo Clinic website specifically say that we use AFP as a follow-up test to test for 
of response to treatment and recurrence after treatment for liver and ovarian cancer. So I showed her the Mayo Clinic website and she was quite surprised. So I told her, well, maybe you should have done the AIP in the first place. She said, well, part of the package is good to test anyway. It's free, but the company sponsored. So I said, okay, anyway, this is what Mayo Clinic say, not that's what I say. And we assure her that everything will be fine. Uh, let's see what the ultrasound show. Yeah. To sum up, uh, I always tell patients, uh, you want to do a health screening, talk to a good family doctor, number one. Number two is go to the Health Promotion Board website. You just type Health Promotion Board Health Screening. They will show you the website in the Health Promotion Board. And for someone like her, there's in the 60s, they recommend uh, pap smear if she's sexually active or rather pap smear once if she ever had sex, okay, for female. A mammogram, or I think every two years, and then a fecal or cup blood every year. Uh, and some chronic illnesses like diabetes, hypertension, uh, cholesterol. And that's about it. Uh, the Eat Health Promotion Board website never say do an alpha beta protein when you have no symptom. In our Ministry of Health Hepatitis B Treatment Guideline, they did say that if you have a risk factor of liver cancer, such as hepatitis B or liver cirrhosis or from any cause, you should do an alpha beta protein plus ultrasound scan every six months, meaning to look for any uh, liver cancer, liver cirrhosis kind of thing. But if you don't have any risk factor, uh, do not create trouble for yourself, okay? Uh, go to a recognized family doctor, go to a good family doctor, check on the health promotion website yourself. Do not overdo screening tests because uh, they may sometimes cause you, cause you unnecessary worry. So this is Dr. Desmond Mike. Thank you for watching.